Hello guys, I'm going to declutter an already decluttered space. I'm going to maintain it. I already got started, but you can see how my disorganized decision-making works here. These three bins are what I'm doing. They live here. And when I first did this entire shelf, these three bins, the whole area was very nice, and this was for all my video equipment, this is for all my office supplies, and this was for other tech gadgets like my vape uh, and equipment like that that I need, <laughs> batteries, my uh, blood sugar monitor, and Somewhere along the way, I cleaned out my jewelry boxes, which are up here, because I realized I wasn't wearing all of the jewelry, and so I decided to bury my jewelry underneath my office supplies, because I thought that if I didn't need them, then I wouldn't need them. So there's a bunch of random jewelry in there. Oh! I pulled this out, and so far I went through the sort of been going through the first and the second box. And I found in there an electric doorstop. Why am I keeping an electric doorstop? This can go. Um, a bunch of jewelry that I don't need I'll go. That timer, remember, that I got for organization? Here's the packaging. It's not even really an instruction manual. I found a few of those too that go with my tech, which I don't need to keep. You can always look things up on Google. But the, why? Why? Um, and in the second bin, one of the interesting things that I found was I was really excited because my new glucose monitor doesn't come with the lancet, the, the thing that you poke your finger with. And I found the one for the old one and I was like, yes, score. And then I found the entire old one. So I bought a duplicate. This happens when you're disorganized. Sometimes you can't find things or you forget that you even own them already and you end up wasting money buying duplicates. Uh, I don't know why it didn't come with the Lancet. Maybe it did and I will find it somewhere. And then I went to use it and I realized it wouldn't come on. I was like, why won't you work? It probably just needs new batteries. That's probably why I went and got another meter, is because I couldn't get it to work when all I had to do was replace the batteries. So I wound up with this whole bunch of extra stuff. Uh, so for right now, because I haven't set up the new one, and I don't know if I have batteries for the old one, I have two glucose monitors, and technically I have no glucose monitors. So I'm going to keep both. That's how my mind works. Uh, I'm just going to set it in the bin of important things. I kept a couple of pieces of jewelry, but I'm still on the navy side. I also, in this shelf over here, even though I have, now I have fi finally have a filing cabinet, uh, my papers are still very disorganized. And I had the idea, the notion that my scars for the TV, for the mood lighting, my candles, all that kind of stuff is going to go at the cozy warm stuff in the top shelf and the most important papers of your life in the bottom shelf for easy access. And right now, I, so I went to move an important paper that was somehow shoved in this stuff uh, in my random electronics and e-cigarette and whatever box over here, and I realized that there was shelving parts in here, and in the bottom, along with a bunch of other stuff, um, there's a bit, bunch of video games I never use, um, there's air filters, 
So what I thought lived in here, because you know it's my important papers, like taxes and things that I would need. So of course I wouldn't need them very often, so I don't go in there. I just made the assumption they live there, and they don't. So for now, this box is done, this office supply box, unless I find other things that, no, oh, this, uh, this is electronics that go for filming, videography, anything of that nature. Oh my gosh, these are nice. I didn't know I owned these. No? No, I know what these are. Cameron got these for me. Um, random electronics. Because the battery dies extremely quickly. This is a CD that Michael made. Homemade CD. It's sentimental. It doesn't belong in any of this stuff, but we don't know where to put it for now. So I'm going to set it aside because it doesn't live here. Um, but I don't know where to put it yet, so it's just going to go there for right now. And this goes in electronics. It's an office supply. That's an office supply. That's an office supply. That's videography. I have been looking for this one. I have been looking for this one. And this one. These can go. These two I've been looking for. All these can go bye bye. So, these are going to get set aside and put away. What are you? need that. Always looking for hair ties. I always lose them. Ah, I always lose everything. A receipt. Why do I keep receipts? Oh, it was a date. That's why I kept it. How about this one? I bet this was a date. Yep. Nice memories. I don't need to keep the receipts. They can be recycled. Okay. And bunny. So far I found one dollar and twenty-six cents. I'm getting paid by the universe for my efforts. Okay. So this goes back much more organized. I have so many pens and they're all over. I don't know where they would be. Um, do I need this piece of I know I look crazy, but I'm not getting dressed up to a clean my house, even if we're putting it on YouTube. They say doing things like that shows lack of self-respect. I should say it shows self-confidence and total self-respect. It's my life, it's my house, it's my channel. Even if someday I have a hundred million subscribers, I'm all about the authenticity. And y'all know, you don't look so pretty when you first wake up. Camera ready, re camera ready makeup for who? I have a boyfriend, even if I didn't. But this is how I am. Even if I wanted a girlfriend, this is how I am. This is reality. Real reality TV. Okay. 
how we're coming along. This looks so nice. Much better. Off. Off the view. Okay, I'll do that later. That's part of the problem. Total lack of patience. Last box we have all over the place is this one. Reorganized and quite empty. Hopefully at some point I won't need boxes because I will have much less things um, the more and more I get in order. So far my trash donate recycle leave pile is all that okay what do we got here an empty ziplog bag but yeah I don't know what that was supposed to go for but is this another manual of some kind? Oh, it's for my printer that I do not know how to use. It's wireless, and camera needs to set it up for me. I better save that, but it can go in a more discreet place than where it's living. All this goes to my tablet that I will be using. I also need his help to set it up so that I can do most of my artwork uh, digitally and that will save a lot of room and I seem to like to do the digital. I just need to get Photoshop. I used it in college and a better computer because the one I'm using is circa almost the time I was born huh? and it wouldn't support what I needed to do. Um, but that's the direction I'm going so that I can just carry about my art and without the supplies it'll save me space and help save the planet and it'll help save me clean up time and all that other stuff. I just don't have to have to know at all. So I have to save that. Oh, Earplugs from my boss. That's really, really sweet. I bought a brand new bottle full of earplugs because of the trains and things that come by here at night. And he was trying to be helpful. It's a gift. <laughs> I don't really like to get rid of that. And they're really cool colors. I know, this is a ridiculous decision. I feel like putting them in my camping bag that maybe I might need them camping, you know, because you need earplugs camping for some reason. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to put them with the maybe because, just because, because I'm me. Okay. This is my external DVD player from the computer that Michael got me. I love it. This is not going anywhere but it is going into random electronics. It has nothing to do with filming. I need to work with it. This came from Phil. It needs to go back to Phil. It's missing its cord. I may all fill a new one, but I'm holding on to it because I borrowed it. That's part of the reason, well, not part of, but one of the many reasons to get your shit together is because you borrow things from people with the best of intentions and then you somehow mess them up. And I always make good when I mess them up, but I always feel terrible. That's my tablet. It's going to be for my artwork. It's my future. And I 
believe that these cords go to an external hard drive, which I will be needing. So I will put that in this handy dandy bag. And I will bind them together with this handy dandy hair tie. They either go to the printer or it goes to, I don't know where the cabinet cord is. I don't know which one of these cameras would have to help me. I don't know what goes to what. <laughs> I'm really bad that way. That's why I end up saving, one of the reasons that I end up saving so much stuff is I don't know what goes to what. I'm not good like that. And especially when my house is more disorganized, things would not get put together immediately and cords would wander before he would put some put my equipment together and then I really would have to keep everything I found because I didn't know if it was important or not. Like these things, I don't know what these things go to at all. I don't know if they go to the tablet or what they go to, but I know, there's a pen in my tablet, but I know when I make this box, initially I put all the stuff from this desk when I first made the desk that went toward this future that I'm actually working on in one area. And so I know they must go toward that end, um, even if I don't know what for. So, ah, more earplugs, look, I'll get rid of one. Okay, I kept two, I got rid of one. I have a home for them. I came up with an idea. Because I didn't like all the loose papers coming in and out. I got these. From the vintage store. They're resale, thrift shop. They're empty old albums. I have yet to peel the stickers off. but So I took the insides out of these albums. And now loose papers is there one that's empty that are important and that I need to save I can hold on to without it looking terrible a manual in beautiful books on my bookshelf I also did this with my journals I want to pick up a few more of these to disguise some other paperwork, but I need to take care of a few things there. But it looks really nice from the side. It's like a nice old photo album. And then on the inside, ah, there goes my rent. On the inside is all my notebooks, my journals. Business. So rather than a, a heap of folders and notebooks sitting up there or user manuals and important things like that, I just have a nice looking thing too. I might as well count my rent while I'm down here too. Should be where that lives. Ah, not necessarily here. But, so. Yeah, you can even lose your rent when you're a disorganized individual. As such as I. So. I am getting some creative solutions.
bins are now nice again. And here is the grand total of what we've done. This is all the stuff I'm going to get rid of. And these were nice organized areas already. This is the importance of going back through and having maintenance. Whoops. Not that. That needs to go other electronics. Because that is an other electronic that needs to go to fill. Borrowed electronic. This is what I'm keeping. These are sentimental items that I'm just going to bury again because I don't have the heart to deal with them. And this is the kind of logic with somebody like me um, that has issues when there's situations and people attached to items. Items become more than items, so I'm going to take these and do what we did before. Bury them. Uh, first, electronics box. Office box. Computer filming box. back in the office box for hiding. This will go in my jewelry box. And guess what? I am $41 richer for having done this. And that much stuff freer. I'd say that was a win. Thanks for decluttering my bins with me. It only took me 25 minutes to get through that. Just this. There's my beautiful user manuals. I think that was a pretty nifty idea. And my notebooks. I want to do the same thing with important medical paperwork but at least it has a home now. Re-reclaiming my space that I already reclaimed one little spot at a time before I move on to other big projects like another closet. I can bring new things in if for every new thing, two things leave, and it's something I really need and it replaces something old. This, something old and broken. This is my current closet. It no longer zips. Look at that. That number is my cat. It is her favorite scratching post. She has a scratching post. But this is her favorite, and it also leans. It is going to give way at any moment. Not just from the weight of my bullshit in it, but literally, it's really crooked. The totes in the bottom are the only thing that are holding it together. And she's torn it apart, and I can't close it. It's really falling apart at the seams, so I did go ahead and get one. They got a small one, and the goal is I've narrowed down enough now that I'm going to do another narrow down and what doesn't fit in the closet doesn't stay but those kind of projects until I can reclaim what I've already done I'm not going to do anything else I want to have back a perfectly nice, spotless, organized, organized space again before I move along. 
So, bye.